summer. Uh, we just locked up uh, a person that we, uh, he lives over on Graham Avenue. Uh, we know he breaks into cars. We've got him on video breaking into cars, and today we, we ended up arresting him. So the precinct itself uh, may be up um, some, some crimes, but they're making a lot of good arrests. For the year, for the year, the 9-4 personnel is up, they were up, uh, they did such a good job last year that they were up 20% in overall arrest, just 9-4 personnel. Because uh, we have a lot of other units that come in and help out the 9-4 in, in reducing crime and making everybody safer. Um, this year, on top of the 20% increase, which would be, you know, if you have a 20% increase, it's much harder to keep the increase going. We're up another 24%, 24.7% in arrests this year. So the officers are out there, they're working harder than they are. And someone, I want to be impartial, I'm not, but they're working harder than they've ever worked. And they're doing a pretty good job. Um, they locked up, and I, I mean, I wrote up, I got a whole booklet here of the arrest they did. They locked up another individual. This is a task force. Task force officer uh, came into the precinct, and he was uh, doing some traffic control. And uh, he ended up locking up another individual who was uh, breaking into and stealing metal from the roof of a, 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 where is it, on Greenpoint Avenue. It was, a, a, it was 276 Greenpoint Avenue. And they identified him, and, and then he confessed to uh, doing it before, and they charged him with that, that burglary too. So making a lot of good arrests, and, and hopefully that reduces the crime. It makes everybody safe, but Greenpoint, one of the safest neighborhoods in one of the safest cities in New York, and it will continue, uh, based on some of these great arrests, I would it would continue to go down. Um, on the one, uh, a couple of things with the crime uh, increase. We had uh, we uh, we did lock up an individual. We we thought it might be him. We're not sure, but we have an individual that's going into the parking. And what happened is a lot of the runners were putting down their property, whether it be a laptop or a wallet or jewelry. And this person came in with a bike, and he would be taking it. So we're investigating that. But uh, uh, this person hit five times in the last 28 days, which is a lot for. Park, which is a very safe park. Um, but I put extra personnel out there and, um, and knock on wood, yes, but this week, and, and we're going to catch it. Um, Cooper Park, uh, we had some violence in the beginning of the summer, but uh, nothing in September. I mean, I put extra patrol out there, and, uh, and, I, and they had a, a family day recently, and it, was, it went off without a hitch. It was great. Um, ooh, it's hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> This uh, code is really pretty high. But um, like I said, we're down in accidents. That, uh, we were down this week in crime, so hopefully that's trend we're trending down. Um, I know that um, I'm going to open the floor to uh, some questions, but uh, with statistics, and I know I threw a lot of stuff at you, it's statistics. You can walk around. The streets are still the safest they've been. And I, I go out there every day, and the officers are working hard, and it, it's always a, a partner, partnership, and, uh, and on both ends, we've done a good job. And, and I, I continue, I'm going to take uh, your, um, uh, you, you can ask me, ask me questions and stuff, and, and I'll, take, uh, I'll take some questions, but, um, but it's a partnership, and I want to thank you, because uh, you know, if you don't call 911, or you don't call 311, then we'll never be able to catch this person. A lot of a lot of the times when we catch these burglars, or the, someone stealing a car, or someone stealing unattended property, it's through someone's on a cell phone, they call 911, or someone looks out their window and they call 911. You utilize that, and we can get there quick, and, uh, and, and we can make the apprehension. And, and like I said, a lot of these criminals that we, um, and I'll, I'll say we target these criminals because uh, a lot of them are repeat offenders, and, uh, and we, we want to get them uh, the help they need or if they don't get the help they need, we want to put them in jail so they have to commit more crimes. But, uh, okay, I'll open the uh, floor to some questions. Hi. Hi. My name is Ann Cranes. Uh, we work on North 7th and Bedford Avenue. Yeah. How are you? Good. Um, on the top side of things, right. where the precinct is concerned, yes. I want to commend you. Thank you. And Officer Rivera, she was on top of the issue when... Um, we had Kenny Berry arrested okay. for exposing himself to me and my daughter okay. and threatening to kill me. Okay. Uh, uh, his hearing is, uh, the DA called me, and um, his hearing was today. I don't know if he's going to accept the plea.
plea bargain or, do I, or I have to go to trial next week? Um, I thank you for that, and I'll, I'll let, definitely let the officer know. I mean, yeah, uh, she really followed through. She took everything I was saying 100%, and uh, I, I can't even tell you how wonderful uh, that's nice to hear. she is. It's nice to hear. Uh, now, on okay. the other. On the flip side. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Um, we're still having issues with illegal vendors. Okay. Uh, but if the precinct is too busy with a lot of things, then I never too busy. We can we no, can multitask. No, these guys are, and you know, Sunday is really. I mean, because still the, the day, Salvation yes. Army is open on Saturdays, and they can't open up in front. But Sunday, Sunday still the big day. Morning to three o'clock in the a.m. Even when I call. Wait a second, it's 3 o'clock a.m., you're saying? A.m. A.m. The vendors are out at 3 a.m.? Oh, yeah. You can't even walk down the street. Okay. To the point where Phyllis and I, who are legal vendors, have to close because they're taking away all our business because they're selling everything for a dollar or two. Okay. So the situation being is that uh, not only are they um, illegal vendors, but they're violent individuals. Uh, one, uh, one vendor uh, uh, was uh, recently arrested in McCarran Park uh, for um, drugs and violence. Um, she was uh, arrested. Um, it's, uh, they're not drinking coffee in a, the coffee mugs that they're walking around in. It's all alcohol. How many vendors um, are we talking about? Uh, I guess four to eight. Four to eight, okay. But they're, but they're coming in droves, and it's not just they're taking an eight-foot table's worth. They're taking an entire street. It's on the floor. Right? So this yeah. is from, uh, goes to 3 a.m. in the morning. When does it start? Uh, it starts, they start coming at uh, between 10 and 11, but you're not going to catch them in the morning. In the morning. So we're dealing with a.m. to a.m. Okay. But what happens is when the police come, they run away, then they come back. Or they get a ticket and then they come back. Okay. And it's just not, um, it's not working out for us. My husband and I are still going to stay there because if I feel if we leave, if I, uh, they would have won. If I put an officer out there, <laughs> um, <laughs> and you're saying they come out at uh, 10, 11 o'clock, if I put an officer out there from, and we always have officers out there, but I'm going to put an officer uh, signally out there this Sunday. Uh, from 11 to 6. Would that be good? Yeah. Yeah. Right on that corner, North 7th and Yeah, but they still, so, what's the, so when they start to open up, what is that, what is he going to do? Well, he's, Condition if you're, is not coming. If, you know, if, last weekend I called, last Sunday I called three times, the officer was so nice on the phone, and he said that the officers were handling an accident on Metropolitan Avenue. Uh, they would be coming as soon as that was wrapped up. Four hours later, um, you know, I finally said to him, this is my third and final call. Um, I'm leaving now. <laughs> right. And uh, they were still there. I'll have someone there, Sunday. Okay. 11 to 6, 